Hey everybody, happy Friday. I, how was y'all's week? I hope it was good. If not, just know the weekend is here. And if y'all still working over the weekend, just know this too shall pass. Um, so my week was kind of crazy. But my mother is coming this weekend, so I'm going to make this quick. <laughs> She's coming up tomorrow, and I'm really excited. Um, so... I just got done watching, no, cause I just, I had to get so much done. I had to go grocery shopping. I needed to go to Target and pick up some stuff. Cause y'all know it's payday. Um, <laughs> I found these, these bad, these nice, um, glasses at, at Marshall's, like the drinking glasses on clearance for like $4 and it was like a set of four. I mean, they were nice. And when I went up there, like the girl like was looking on the register and she was like, she was like, this is like a great price. I said, I know. It was behind some stuff. You know how people be trying to keep it. But God is good. Anyway, and I came back. I cleaned up. I had to do my laundry. So it's just been a lot. But anyway, so the getaway part two. They send William off. I'm not surprised. Um, I have to be honest. I don't dislike William. I actually liked William. Um, I was actually kind of sad to see him go. Um, and like I said last week, I felt like it was insensitive to say, you know, cause he's dealing with an ailing father. That's just too much on your plate. I just felt like that didn't need to be said. You could have just simply said, I don't have a connection with him. I don't really talk to him, uh, whatever. So we get that. Then we get Chaz and Vanessa sitting down talking and Vanessa, as usual, is a very clear communicator and was like, look. We need to know what's going on. There are four women who are confused, who are claiming, you know, to be your connections. And we don't know. Well, I'm trying, Vanessa. I'm trying. Will you please stop doing that? And she goes, what? That? What? That? Let me tell you something. No, what you wanted her to do was apologize for asking you clear questions so you didn't have to fucking answer them. That's what the fuck you did. Okay? And when Vanessa came out there to talk... To Rashina and Maya and let them know what to do. And she was like, I'm not sure if it's gaslighting or if my standards and expectations are too high. And let me tell you something. Shout out to Rashina for several reasons. I'm going to get there. And Maya. Because I am I I love when black women check each other like that. When you start to go in on yourself. Because we have been gaslit pretty much our whole lives to believe something is wrong with us. And that's why sorry ass dusties don't want us. Fuck them. Okay? Fuck them. I am not going to live my life trying to play second fiddle to a man who ain't shit. Anyway, but they were like, no, don't start thinking your expectations are too high. You have every right to live your best life. Period. And when you do, people should add to your life. And if they're subtracting, fuck it. Chaz, that was some weak ass shit. And Rashina was like, he just came out of here storming. There was nothing about that conversation that should have led to that kind of resentment. I'm overwhelmed. Motherfucker, everybody's overwhelmed. You check the inflation rates. You've seen the president who's propped up with a stick trying to give us the State of the Union and another fucking uh, crime-ridden psychopath running for the president. We all stressed. the fuck out of here. You overwhelmed. Everybody in here is overwhelmed they're trying to stay on TV to get their face and advertisement for their businesses out there. the fuck? So Patrice finds him even though... Patrice had gone upstairs. She needed a minute because William had left. Um, and Vanessa had gone to check on her. But she didn't answer her door. So Vanessa just gave her her space. And Rashina, um, Patrice manages to knock on the door and check on Chaz. And he was like, I just need a moment. But she decided to stay. And she was like, you know, well, look, this is hard for everybody. You're not going through that process, this process by yourself. And you're not. There's still plenty of people there, maybe tough. And I'm just trying to figure out why Chaz is mad like he's eliminated. Chaz decides he's going to fucking go home. First of all, Chaz, it's starting to become obvious to me why you as a 47-year-old man, a homeowner and a homeowner of a very nice home, is still by yourself. And it's because I think you are emotionally stunted and unwilling. First of all, that connection with Patrice and Patrice, I like you, but I didn't like what you did last week. I have to be honest. I felt like for you and Vanessa to be as chummy and, you know, friends as you are, 
you did not need to add Chaz. And I think all you did was fucking calculate the fact that you still wanted to be on this show. And so you sitting at the table, I just want to be in a number, was really giving me pick me energy. And I feel like for you to have had Alonzo and William, it just seemed like you could have let that go. Because we all know Patrice is everybody's top, you know, um, with the exception of Chaz. She didn't have to do that. But I didn't think Mika really wanted him either. And clearly we see. So Chaz removes himself from the process. Let me tell you why I have a problem with this in addition to the fact that I do not like a man who cannot endure. Now, I'm not saying people don't need moments, but getting up and fucking leaving like Mika, Laron, and Vanessa didn't ride in the car with you, that was fucked up. And you were telling him shit, okay? I would have been hot just for that reason that we all got to go back and Patrice Springer. Not that there's anything wrong with her Springer. I'm just saying, we came together, we leave together. I don't know how these motherfuckers are raised. That is how it goes. That was the same thing when your mother, my mother would let me go out. Y'all go together, y'all come back together. I don't want no different people in that car. I don't want no kids that I don't know in that car. I don't care. Y'all, you leave together, you come back together. And you left them people and didn't even tell them that was some bullshit. That was some bullshit. But Chaz, you removed yourself and I was with Alonzo. Let him leave. Because now he gets Patrice to himself. LaRon and Maya kicking it. I still don't see her for them. I don't understand why LaRon is still in the confessionals bringing up Koshia. Actually, I do. And it's because he still likes her. And judging from the preview next week, LaRon calling Maya out of her name and getting drunk. Let me tell y'all something. I thought some, there was something wrong with LaRon's um, attitude and problem anyway. I don't even understand why he has made it this far. I have no idea how he keeps getting skipped over. Because remember when Koshia was walking at the party, it was a process and he was really mad. And so she just tried to grab his arm and he was like, uh-uh, you showing out, you showing out. And that came off to me as very controlling. And then for him to be the one who sits everybody down and tries to tell him no more getting salty about connections, nobody's married to anybody. Motherfucker, you think we forgot how you acted? I didn't. Okay. So, Patrice is kicking it with Alonzo, who is really what she wants to be with. Um, Aya is kicking it with LaRon. Mika is kicking it with Justin. And I like them together. But I'm going to tell you what I really appreciated about Justin. Him being man enough to go and talk to Rashina as a man. And just say, you know, Rashina, I know I've been spending a lot of time with Mika. And Rashina just goes, yeah, I noticed. But I'm happy for y'all. Y'all look good together. And he was like, you know, Rashina was the first one to go on a date with me. Because you remember, she, Rashina's really good at planning this up. And she was the one that spent time with me, you know, and I don't want her to think that. He said, and the fact that she was rooting for me says a lot about her character. And it does. It really does. And um, I like that. I like that for both of them. Both of them were very mature about it. Um, I honestly don't think Rashina's really attracted to many people there. I mean, I guess... Chaz, but like Rashina is one of them people clairvoyance. Okay, she is not here for the bullshit, and I love it. I love it. She ain't got to worry about she ain't putting herself under that pressure to have kids. She already has two, been married, and owns a salon. And yes, the hair stays giving. So she, you get your use out of it. Um. So yeah, like they were like you have people kind of like a little down that Chaz just got up and left, didn't tell anybody. And Patrice, not Patrice, Patrice and Rashina, I get them mixed up a lot. Um, and Rashina was like, well, I've considered Chaz one of my top connections. The fact that he wouldn't even say anything to me and he's opening up to Patrice. And I also feel like it's kind of easier to open up to somebody you don't really care as much about. Also, Patrice kind of forced herself into his room and decided to pray for him. So anyway, they have a crab boil. They enjoy themselves. And LeBron is just like, let's just kick it. Um, so they all have to go back and Patrice is Springer cause punk motherfucker forgot him. You know, that's who he looks like. Punk from I love New York. If you remember that, <laughs> you all right with me. So then they get back to the city or whatever. Uh, LaRon and Maya go out. Um, LaRon is not up to snuff. For a woman like Maya, I think Maya is absolutely gorgeous. I think she's nice. I think she's sweet. I think she got it going on. And I think somebody like LaRon has no idea what to do with that or how to appreciate it. And he seems like the kind that would be trying to humble her 
um, and just wants to be on TV. So fuck them. And Patrice and Alonzo meet up, and that's a cute little date. We ain't seen Chaz. I'm like, has he called people? Has he apologized for leaving like that? Because he needs to. Um, so they get the lounge. Now, is it just me? Now, Tommy, that jacket was bright, but it was a nice cut, though. Um, they're getting in there, and they're talking, and they asked what happened after he left, and Chaz, you know, um, the guys were nice about the fact that he left, and it's probably because they got time with the women they wanted to. <laughs> um, but Chaz was like, I was just really overwhelmed, you know, and black men hurt too. Yes, and everybody else around you is a black man. But caving under pressure, you you could have been man enough to tell Patrice, you know what, honestly, I just have a lot on my plate right now. Patrice has enough men after her, and that was just given, I am just trying to stay on to the end. You didn't have to go and do that. And honestly, I feel like if a woman did that, she would be punished. Like, well, we don't want you on the show. You ain't ready to love. The men would have done that. Tommy would have done that. Other women would have jumped on it. But anyway. They're talking in the lounge about their connection. Justin and Mika, boom. Alonzo is still here for Patrice. Laurent's talking about Maya. And Chaz is between Vanessa and Rashina for him. And the rest of them were just saying they didn't have a connection with Rashina. I, honestly, I haven't really seen Rashina with like what I believe was a chemistry connection with anybody. And like I said, I just don't think she matches with these sorry motherfuckers. So it is Chaz's job to take her out and then decide in the middle of the conversation. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> Rashina. Ma'am. Let me tell you. You said these motherfuckers ain't fitting to write my narrative. Oh, no, 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 no. She came in. She said, well, what happened? And, you know, she was actually very clear, just like Vanessa. But Rashina got a little extra oomph. And Chaz is just like, well, I was feeling overwhelmed. And she's still like... She said, but you didn't call anybody. He was like, well, I, I messaged you. She was like, yeah, you did. And when I was about to answer, I got this call for this. And I just know something's not right. He was like, well, why, why would you think that? She said, because I can feel it. And I love when black women are honest and strong enough to say, no, I can feel it. And not let men gaslight them into, well, people feel all of a sudden. No, no, she know what's up. And Chaz, you're not looking like nobody people even want to fuck with like that. And Rashina was like, let me finish. She was like, well, wait, I have to say, I don't want to forget what I have to say. She's like, I don't want to forget what I have to say either. And I'm just like, Chaz, this is another moment for you to fucking man up. Every time you turn around, you holding somebody's hand or whatever. You didn't try to do that with Rashina. And Rashina was trying to be very clear with you. And she was not going to give you the chance to eliminate her. She was like, I was about to self-eliminate anyway. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. And you deserve to be sitting at the table by yourself. The same way you left the group. It was still a getaway. What the fuck was you doing? Crying in your pillow at home? And if I was Rashina, I, I hope they edited it out when she cursed him out. Oh, no, she was Never mind. She wrote with Patrice. But Vanessa, Laurent, and Maya, all should give him a fucking earful. Because we come together, we leave together, you sorry bastard. And why, was Ch why did Chaz have a fan? Why the fuck was he carrying a fan out of the house? Did he steal it? Why would you bring that to somebody? Child. So, Rashina self-eliminated. Chaz. I tried. I tried. I tried. But by the looks of it, next week, you're going to talk too much, too. And I don't know what to do with you and your rat teeth. His mouth is that like the Stevie J face, but it's more natural. Stevie J was doing that on purpose. I'm going in. But I need to go to bed. Um... I hope y'all have a great weekend, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.